Hi, welcome back to Automotive Solutions. Uh, the ECU is back for the uh, little Mazda. Uh, if you don't know what I'm on about, there's a part one to this video, so check that out first. But yeah, I had an ECU fault, so yeah, ECU is back. Uh, just plugged in temporarily. And I've also replaced uh, the front coil. Uh, as you can see on this one, the original, but uh, where my thumb is, it's actually melted the coil where it got so hot zoom in on that yeah it's even cracked it it's just cracked it slightly as well but yeah it's got really hot distorted the coil um, so I don't know what happened first chicken or the egg but um, the end result was a damaged ECU which now repaired back in the car so gonna go for a start for the first time Obviously the new one's on there, uh, there's a new set of plugs in there. I look at the leads, these sit over one plug and fire the other coil and as far as I can see that lead is, is reasonable, it can't really arc anywhere, I had a look at the boot. So let's go for a start. Turn that off. Oh yes, yeah, sounds good. Sounds a lot better. So it certainly seems to be sorted. I might even get the scope out and uh, take a few measurements of the coils because this is a this is a pattern coil, and that's the original. So I might just compare them and uh, make sure it's all good. But it certainly sounds good. I'll check it out with the thermal image. So your front coil 39, rear coil 37, fairly similar. As you can see from that, they're both about the same temperature. So that's the uh, that's the misfire sorted on the little Mazda. And the other thing, I checked it over while I was waiting for the ECU. Um, broken coal spring. So I put a couple of springs on the back. Um, got an MOT. And a uh, bit of summer motoring now. So I'll see what I want to do with it, if I'm going to keep it or not. But yeah, it's a nice little car really. Runs well now. So I uh, hope you found this interesting. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.